What up? You got Mr. Smith, point five for Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Listen, it's a lot of talk about the SBA loans and grants, and it has been for some time now due to a lot of people being in a rough situation if they're a small business owner. And the SBA basically has opened up the doors in terms of funds for those who have qualified small businesses. Disclaimer, this is not for people who are just trying to get some extra money. This is not that. This is not for people who are trying to finagle numbers in order to get more money. Just uh, a group of people who are business owners, been operating their business, and during this time they experienced some type of effects that came from everything that's going on with COVID and things of that nature. But it's a lot of stuff being said about the EIDL advanced program, which is the grant. So I wanted to lay it out here and just provide a form of proof of what's about to take place. If you don't know already, they opened up the loans and grants, you know, earlier in the year, and then they closed them down, then they reopened them back up. And then like July, mid-July, they shut down the EIDL grants. People can still apply for the loan, but if you've ever applied for the loan or the grant, towards the end, they ask if you want to be considered for the EIDL advance the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Advance, which is a grant because you don't have to pay it back. They removed that, and now people are no longer able to apply for the grant. However, what I want to show in this video is the fact that I believe those grants may be coming, and this is a pretty reliable source, and it comes before sometimes the information may be, be distributed through SBA or different employees that work or are affiliated with the SBA. So. It's all about legislation. So this comes directly from a Senate page, Senate of Nevada, and I'll read it. So the video may be a little long, but I wanted to show some proof because there's a lot of talk and hearsay and not really people showing receipts, as we like to call it. So what I'm going to do is turn this camera off, and then I'm going to just read it and let you read along with it. Of course, you can see the website up above if you just care to visit. But I just wanted to provide this proof video for those of you who may want to See, so without further ado, let me go ahead and stop the video. Content. All right. Rosen Cornyn introduces bipartisan legislation to provide increased EIDL loans and EIDL advanced grants. Assist, I don't know why it's cut off, small business. All right. So this is Tuesday, July 24th. First, at the time of this recording, this is actually Monday, July 27th, so it's over about a week Oh, but still relevant today because it hasn't taken effect and people haven't witnessed the benefits just yet, but you mark my word, I believe they will. All right, Washington, D.C. Today, USA Senator Jack Rosen, a member of the Senate Committee on the Small Business and Entrepreneurship, and Senate John of Texas announced their introduction of the Insurance Increased Disaster Law for Small Businesses Act, which is the S. Dot 4227. Look it up. This bipartisan legislation would assist the nation's small business impacted by the coronavirus pandemic by providing an additional $180 billion for the Economic Injury Disaster Loan and the EIDL Loan Advanced Program, which is what you want. That's the grant. The bill would also prohibit the Small Business Administration, SBA, from arbitrarily capping EIDL loans below Two million, the threshold set by Congress, and require SBAs pro to provide the ten thousand dollar EIDL advance grants to all eligible small businesses, regardless of size, as intended by the original CARES Act. Hmm. As we work to address the impacts of COVID nineteen on our economy, we must take further steps to support small businesses in Nevada and across the country who are in urgent need of assistance, said Senator Rosen. I'm proud to introduce this bipartisan bill that will provide additional funding to the EIDL and the EIDL advanced programs, as well as eliminate SBA's arbitrary and harmful caps on loans and grants available to eligible small businesses. Many of our state's most vulnerable businesses are minority-owned, and this additional support will help to provide a lifeline, allowing many of Nevada's minority small businesses to keep their doors open. I will continue working in Congress to develop forward-thinking solutions that support our small business community during this crisis. Now, I know it's talking about Nevada a lot, but keep in mind they're saying all small businesses across the nation. That means you include it if you're a small business and you've applied and you've qualified the proper way. As the coronavirus continues to wreak havoc on our economy, Texas small businesses are bearing a tremendous financial burden, says Senator Cornyn. 
the IDL program has helped many businesses keep their doors open during the pandemic, and this legislation will help make sure they are able to receive the full assistance they need to stay afloat and help get our economy back on track. Small businesses need assurance that SBA's disaster loan program can serve as a lifeline to survive the COVID-19 pandemic, said Tom Sullivan, Vice President of Small Business Policy, U.S. Chamber of Commerce. This bipartisan legislation provides a certainty of Main Street who are looking for SBA for help. We strongly support the congressional efforts to provide a wide array of capital solutions amid this catastrophic health and economic crisis, said John, Executive Director of Small Business Roundtable. The IDEA program provides business owners the certainty they need for long-term, low-interest loans to recover and continue their role as America's economic engine. We commend Senators Rosen and Cornyn for their leadership and urge EIDL funding and improvements in the next coronavirus package. We commend Senator Rosen and Cornyn for introducing the EIDL Small Business Act, said Chip Rogers, President and CEO of American Hotels and Lodging Association. This important bipartisan legislation will ensure hoteliers have continued access to the Small Business Administration disaster relief programs, which are a critical lifeline for small businesses during times of economic crisis. This leisure and hospitality sectors have lost 4.8 million jobs since February, and this much-needed legislation will help hotels open their doors and keep the lights on so that we can rehire, retain, and support our valued employees. The Vegas Chamber applauds Senator Rosen for introducing the Insurance Increase Disaster Law, the IDL for Small Business Act. This important legislation will provide more capital to small businesses that are in true need of help, while also giving them greater flexibility in how to spend those funds to support their business and employees' jobs, said Mary Bell. The Urban Chamber and the Small Diverse Businesses we represent, greatly appreciate the ongoing support and advocacy by Senator Rosen. The idea for Small Business Act will help our businesses secure much needed capital to counter the impact of COVID-19 in the Southern Nevada region, said Ken Evans, president of the Urban Chamber of Commerce. The Reno Sparks Chamber of Commerce applauds Senator Rosen. I won't get into all of those applause, but let's get to the background. You can read the applause. The background. Soon after CARES Act became law in U.S., Small Business Administration placed arbitrary caps on EIDL. So soon as the CARES Act became law, the U.S. Small Business Administration placed arbitrary caps on the EIDL, loan, EIDL loans and the EIDL advance grants. Currently, EIDL loan, low interest loans that can be used to cover small business operating expenses have been capped at $150,000 per business instead of the congressionally mandated maximum of $2 million. Additionally, the SBA placed caps on EIDL advanced grants to small businesses of $1,000 per employee up to $10,000 rather than the congressionally mandated $10,000 for every eligible small business. I'm going to pause right here because that's important. See, it was caps placed on the loans as well as the grants. And they placed caps on the advance because I want to highlight the advance a little more because the grants don't have to be paid back. There are things in the works that will possibly allow people to have the long way. But let's talk about the grants because we know we don't have to pay that back. It was caps on it that allow people, small businesses, um, to get $1,000 per employee and up to $10,000. That was a cap. So some of you might have received $1,000. I did. So some of you might have received it, but if that's a per employee basis, they capped you out. However, it was supposed to be mandated based on the, th you know, the mandate, $10,000 for every eligible, eligible smart business. So what does that mean? There's a chance that if you receive the $1,000 or no grant at all, that you might receive the difference of the $10,000. So if you receive the $1,000, that's $9,000 you'd receive, or $10,000 if you are an eligible, smart business. So just make sure you're setting yourself up properly. Make sure you're getting your EIN in place. Make sure you're getting certain things in place. And it's not a matter of you having an LLC because obviously you can apply as a sole proprietorship. It's just a matter of making sure that you cover certain ground as it relates to trying to qualify or apply for these loans and grants. But it's a lot of money that's about to be released, and small business owners will benefit greatly, rightfully so. 
due to certain caps that hindered them from getting a certain amount, and other people were able to take advantage, and some people were even uh, dishonest in applying for the small business loans, and it took money away from certain people who legitimately would have and should have qualified. All right. As of last week, the EIDL Advanced Grant Program has run out of funding, and small businesses are no longer receiving this release. Like I stated, they had closed down because they ran out of funding. In April, Senator Rosen, along with Senator Cornyn, urging SBA to eliminate its self-imposed caps on EIDL loans and EIDL advanced grants. Senator Rosen directly brought these concerns to the SBA administrators, yada, yada, about the limits on the advance. So the Bipartisan Insurance Increase Disaster Loans for Small Business Act, S.4227, would do the following, and we'll conclude. Number one, provide $100 billion in appropriations for EIDL. Number two, provide $80 billion in appropriations for the EIDL advance. Number three, prohibit U.S. Small Business Administration and Administrator from placing maximum caps below $2 million on economic injury disaster loans, which have a maximum loan amount of $2 million, as established by the CARES Act under the bill, all eligible small business shall receive EIDL funding on the amount calculated using SBA's current EIDL formula up to $2 million. It will prohibit that. Also, it will prohibit the SBA administration from placing limitations on the EIDL advance under the bill. All eligible small business shall receive the full $10,000 grant provided by the CARES Act regardless of size. So if there's one person or there's 10 people, you should receive the full amount. It will also require EIDL advance grants to be dispersed to eligible small businesses within three business days of request and not be contingent upon approval for an economic injury disaster loan. Now, some people have been disapproved due to credit. You do want to get your credit up because I understand there's a lot of people who might have credit under 570. You know, you've been impacted. So definitely, if you want to get your credit up, reach out to us. We provide uh, free education. We also got a DIY program that's low cost and inexpensive. And we also service you if you want your credit restored. We do it as well. So if you're a person who's been denied due to that, then by all means, reach out. We got some resources or we can do the work for you and put you in a winning situation, regardless of the SBA law. Just you want to have your credit in order anyway. Last but not least, it will require SBA to submit a monthly report to the House and Senate committees on small business and appropriations on one, the status of the disaster loan account, including obligations, allocations, and amounts undistributed slash unallocated. Number two, allocations obligations, and expenditures for all open disasters, and three, an estimate of when available appropriations will be exhausted. So that they will have to operate in transparency, in full transparency, to say the least. So that being said, people, I hope that you uh, benefit from what's about to happen with the reopening of the IDL advanced grants. I hope you are in position to receive the $10,000. If you decide to get a loan, that's on you. I just wanted to let you know that the grants will be being dispersed based on this legislation. It seems like it's, you know, just about law that this will take place. But stay tuned to further information. Just wanted to share this because it's a lot of people talking about it and telling you about it, I just wanted to take you to some documentation to show you where they're getting some of the information from. So that being said, subscribe, like this video, share it with somebody you feel may benefit, or visit the site yourself and do your own digging and research so you can have an understanding if you care to do so, but if not, you heard it here. That's all I got. Mr. Smith, point five of Mr. and Mrs. Smith signing out.